Hello, welcome. So if you've seen the last few videos, you know that my wife, Lori, and I bought a truck camper recently. When I was growing up, we used truck campers and travel trailers. When Lori was growing up, they used uh, travel trailers and motorhomes. Then when it was our turn with our kids, we bought motorhomes, and that's what we've been using for the last 20 years. We've had three different motorhomes. We've spent hundreds of nights in them. We've put tens of thousands of miles on them, and that worked out really well. But now that the girls are gone, we felt like a truck camper best fit our needs. And I wanted to explain why we felt a truck camper best fit our needs, but I feel like to do that, I need to go over the four main categories of RVs and the pros and cons of each, and then the thought process that we went through. And I was trying to decide where's the best place to do that, where's the best venue, and I felt like, why not in the camper? I'm gonna climb up into the camper, get everything set up, and then we'll talk RVs. All right, I'm settled in here. I want to talk about the four categories of RVs. You've got motorhomes, you've got fifth wheelers, you've got travel trailers, and you've got truck campers. So let's start with motorhomes. Motorhomes are the combined chassis and camper all together. Uh, and so the chassis hauls the camper down the road. It's all one unit. Um, let's start with the pros. Pro number one is these are the biggest, most comfortable, most luxurious campers on the market. Um, and all that size not only gets you more living space, but you tend to get bigger tanks, freshwater tanks, waste tanks, gas tanks, uh, propane tanks, they're all bigger, and you get quite a bit more storage. So these, the size of these is a big pro to make them more comfortable and more convenient. Uh, number two is you can tow something with those. That's a very limited uh, pro. I'll get more into that when I get to the cons, but you can tow something with these. Uh, if you want to. And number three, and in my opinion, this is the biggest pro of motorhomes, is you can use them while you're going down the road. So what that means is while mom or dad are driving, the kids can be watching TV, playing video games, coloring books on the table, or eating on the table, going to the bathroom, sleeping, whatever, while you're driving down the road. The other beauty is um, when you get to your destination, if you get there really late and the kids have already fallen asleep, you don't have to wake them up. You just pull the camper in, get it set up, you're good to go. You leave them alone. They can stay asleep. It's the same if you want to get a really early start. You get up early, the kids are still sleeping, break everything down, get on the road, they wake up whenever they want to. You don't have to wake them up to get, uh, get going. So those are the pros of a motorhome. These are the cons. Con number one is because it is a drive line, the chassis and the camper combined into one, and because they tend to be bigger and, and more luxurious, they are quite a bit more expensive than the other options. So, and not only just to buy, but to maintain as well, because you've got so much more involved. So that's one thing to think about. Um, I mentioned that towing was uh, a pro, but the reality is, um, because when you get to the campsite and you get everything set up, you've lost the ability to use the motorhome as your transportation. So what you really have to do is pull something behind you. Uh, we always pulled a Jeep behind ours because they're fun to drive and they're really easy to tow with all four um, tires down. But it does mean you're towing a Jeep or a car and you're not towing something else. So you really effectively don't uh, have the option to do a lot of towing. The last con is the size, while it's a pro, can also be a con because that bigger size means a little harder to drive, it's a little harder to park, uh, and there may be places you can't go. There may be campsites that can't accommodate uh, a rig that big. Um, there may be roads you can't go down, uh, things like that. So that can be a little bit of a con as well. So that's a motorhome. All right, let's talk about fifth wheelers. A fifth wheeler is a camper that you pull behind your truck, but instead of connecting at the bumper, like, like a travel trailer, it connects in the bed of the truck. And when it connects in the bed, you can more safely and more securely haul quite a bit more weight. So it allows uh, the camper to be quite a bit bigger. And fifth wheelers rival motorhomes in terms of size. Uh, so you get all the benefits of a really big camper uh, in terms of tanks and storage and living space and all that. Um, one of the other benefits of a fifth wheeler is uh, because your truck can be disconnected from the camper when you get to your campsite, you have transportation once you get there. And the other advantage of a fifth wheeler is because there's no drive line, that means not only are they cheaper to buy, but they're also cheaper to maintain. So basically, um, the only drive line type components you have to maintain would be uh, maybe some brakes and some tires. So those are the pros of a fifth wheeler. Now. Some of the cons of a fifth wheeler are, again, the big size can sometimes be a little bit unwieldy. It is a really big camper behind your truck. You might even have to get a, a beefier truck to pull it. Uh, it does have to be a truck, so it can't be an SUV or a car. 
um, and that bigger size obviously may limit where you can camp or what roads you can go down. Uh, another con is because the, the fifth wheeler connects to the in the bed of the truck, you lose the ability to use the bed of your truck. You really can't put anything else in there. Um, now they do kind of compensate for this with garages where you can uh, you can pull you can put golf carts or ATVs or motorcycles or things like that. Um, but and this gets to my my third con, you can't really tow anything with a fifth wheeler. Um, so while you may be able to to put a, an ATV or a golf cart or motorcycles if you buy one with a garage, you couldn't put something as big as say a full size boat uh, or a horse trailer or something like that. Uh, so that's a con with a fifth wheeler and something to think about. Now I want to talk about travel trailers. Travel trailers are similar to fifth wheelers in that you pull them behind your truck. However, the big difference is travel trailers connect at the bumper. And because of that, uh, they tend to be smaller. You can't haul or tow as much when you're connected to the bumper. Because they're a little bit smaller, you can get them into some tighter spots or a little easier to park, a little easier to drive. Another pro with travel trailers is, again, you don't have a driveline to maintain. The only components that would be considered driveline, in my opinion, would be uh, tires and brakes. So um, less to, expensive to buy and less expensive to maintain. In fact, I think travel trailers give you your best bang for your buck. I think because they are the most um, most common type of camper out there uh, and there's so many options and, and configurations available, they tend to have the lowest price per square foot. Travel trailers have the most options and configurations and floor plans and sizes of all the camper models. Um, and so you can pull it with a truck, you can pull it with an SUV, you can pull it with a car, it just depends on what size you get. Uh, so that's a big advantage right there. Another advantage is, again, when you get to the campsite, disconnect the trailer, it's all set up. Now you have your car or truck or whatever you're using to pull it uh, as transportation. Uh, another pro for travel trailers is because it connects to the bumper, it doesn't use the bed it frees up the bed uh, to haul stuff. So you can put bicycles in there, you can put ATVs in there, uh, whatever will fit. Now some of the cons with travel trailers is, uh, number one, because you're pulling the travel trailer, you really can't pull anything else. Um, the other thing is they do tend to be a little bit smaller. So compared to say a motorhome or a fifth wheeler, uh, you're gonna have a little less living space and you're also gonna have smaller tanks and a little less storage space. Uh, again, size can be a pro and a con, it just depends on what you need. So those are the cons. All right, let's talk about truck campers. Truck campers are a camper that slides into the bed of the truck and is actually carried by the truck. So it's not pulled by the truck. So let me go over the pros of a truck camper. One, they are the smallest of all the campers. I'm putting that as a pro right now because smaller means I can take it more places. And if you add that to the fact that if you have a four wheel drive truck, you can take it places where you need four wheel drive or high ground clearance. So the small size lets, gives you a lot more options on where you can go and where you can take it. Number two, no drive line, none, not even tires and brakes. So to me, that's a big pro. Number three, you can tow anything you want. Uh, you can tow a trailer with uh, ATVs, you can tow a horse trailer, you can tow a boat, you can pretty much tow anything you want. And number four, um, when you get to your campsite, you can unload the camper off the truck and now you have your truck to use as transportation. Now let's go over the cons of a truck camper. And to me, the size is its biggest con. They are tight, there's no doubt. Um, the living space is tight. They're really only suitable for two people. Uh, and, and that's to me a maximum to be comfortable, to be reasonably comfortable, uh, but they are tight and the tanks are gonna be smaller, all your tanks are gonna be smaller. Um, so that's a con that you have to consider. Uh, the other con is you're probably gonna need a fairly substantial truck to haul one of these around. Um, they're heavy and if you wanna do it safely, you're gonna need a, a pretty beefy truck to haul these around. The other thing about truck campers is they tend to have a fairly high price per square foot, even though they're the smallest campers, um, the price per square foot seems to be a little bit high for some reason. And two other things that make them to me a little less convenient is the bed is in the cab over and you kind of have to crawl up into it, which can be a little bit cumbersome. And um, if you got any type of physical limitations, uh, you may not be able to. So that's something to think about. And then uh, lastly, um, you have to literally slide the bed uh, of your truck or drive the bed back the bed of your truck right up underneath it 
and get the camper to fit between the wheel wells. And so you have to be really slow and really careful and it can be a little bit uh, time consuming and cumbersome, uh, especially when compared to a travel trailer or even a fifth wheeler uh, where there's, it's pretty quick to hook those up. So that can be um, a con or a negative as well. So there you have the four types, the pros and cons of each. Um, let me go through kind of what, what I would do in different situations. If I have young kids, say less than 12 years old, to me, especially if I don't need to haul uh, toys of any sort, a motorhome is the answer. It's so easy to set up camp and break down camp in the motorhomes with the kids in it. Um, I think everybody enjoys the traveling, getting to and getting back from when you're in a motorhome. So that would be my answer. But if I didn't want to spend that much on a motorhome, uh, or maybe I needed to sleep more people, or maybe I had some small toys like motorcycles or ATVs that I wanted to haul with me, I would probably go with a fifth wheeler that had a garage. Um, if I didn't want to spend that much on a motorhome and uh, I still have kids and I don't really have to tow uh, toys or, or haul toys or anything like that with me, then I think uh, a, just a regular travel trailer is your best option. But for us, it's just the two of us now and Cody, of course. Um, these are the big reasons why I wanted a truck camper. I, number one, I wanted to be able to take it where my truck could go, essentially. Number two, I wanted to be able to tow things. And number three, I didn't want to have another driveline to maintain. So the truck camper was uh, the camper that fit those requirements uh, best for us. And that's why we went with a truck camper. So that covers it. All the pros and cons, the thought process we went through, and why we bought a truck camper. So if you're watching this because you're thinking about buying an RV, I hope this helps. Good luck with your purchase.